An image of an amber-coloured, six-legged insect perched on a furry snout. On-screen text reads, Believe it or not, this isn't a spider. It's actually a fly, but not as you know it. A woman wearing glasses speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Erica McAllister, museum scientist. You just need to count its legs to realise that this little cutie is two legs shy of a spider actually one of the wingless bat flies. These flies are ectoparasites on bats and they're adapted to spend most of their lives clinging to their hosts. Several white boxes containing pin samples of the tiny insects. Many of the species have lost their wings and their flight muscles have been reduced to nothing. And in doing so, they've lost the ability to fly. Their legs are modified to hold on tightly to the bat's fur and skin with strong muscles bristles and claws. Close-up images of the amber-coloured six-legged insect gripping to a bat's fur. And if you thought that was bizarre, listen to this. These flies don't lay eggs. They give birth to live young. And a series of tiny flies were shown, preserved on labelled pins inside a white display box. Not only that, the mothers only have one baby at a time, feeding it with a milky substance from lactating glands within her body. These beauties just laughed at the original blueprint of a fly and modified it for their own incredible life cycle. An image of a fly on a bat's fur is overlaid on the left-hand side with a narrow semi-opaque black rectangle on which the credits are displayed. Film Lizzie Tilly, Science Erica McAllister, Research Christina Toronto, Archive Piotr Naskreki, Giles Samatan, Flickr, CC by SA 2.0, Music Audio Network. On the right-hand side is the Natural History Museum logo consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum London.